Hey everyone, uh, I am NORCAM Phil, Phil Healy, the, uh, NORCAM's Public Access Coordinator. And I'm here today to talk about uh, some cool things happening in your community at uh, the Flint Memorial Library, the new Performing Arts Series that will, I believe, begin in October. And with me I have, uh, to represent uh, the organizations that are putting on these new Performing Arts Series, our Art Grossman from the uh, Community Coffee House and uh, Pat McKenna from the Flint Memorial, uh, Friends of the Flint Memorial Library. Right. So let me swing it to Art. Art, what is this uh, new concert all about? Tell well, me in 80 words or less. I can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. Uh, well, first of all, let me just make the connection. Uh, in April of 2016, uh, I have a lot of time on my hands, and I like doing projects. So I, I thought about uh, starting this coffee house with the friends of the library uh, in order to, one, uh, give a place for performers to perform in what I like to call a judgment-free zone. So perform in front of an appreciative audience. And uh, there's no fee for it, but uh, through donations and the sale of refreshments, uh, those monies go to the friends to support the programs that they run, which uh, Pat will talk about shortly. Um, <clears throat> that's been going on for uh, well, it was two years in April, so over, a little over two years now. And uh, it's really done well. I mean, when we first started, uh, I would look into the parking lot at five minutes to seven, and there's nobody mm -hmm. there, and I would have to play for an hour and 45 <laughs> minutes of the two hours. Now it's a three-hour event. Parking lot's usually pretty full, and we have lots of people, lots of performers, lots of talented performers, but you don't have to be talented to perform there. And... Um, I think by any measure it worked out very well. Um, because I, I'm very interested in music and uh, I do a lot of it in my free time, uh, I was thinking about what else maybe could we do uh, related to that and, and again to help support the friends of the library and the programs that they put on. And uh, I, came up, I came up with this idea and working with the friends and working with uh, Sharon Kelleher and Dan Trombley at the library uh, and Marcy Bailey, um, we came up with this performing artist series, which is separate and distinct from the coffee house. And it's a place where we are bringing in professional acts uh, to uh, perform. Uh, there's no financial... Uh, responsibility for the friends. The performing artists bear all the financial risk and they understand that and they're fine with it because they want to play and get exposure. And um, so uh, we will be starting this uh, on October 6th with a, a duo from Nashville that I've heard several times called the Twangtown Paramours. Uh, they're a very entertaining husband and wife team uh, and uh, I really do think people will enjoy listening to what they do. Uh, I'm not a Facebook expert, but I somehow put something out there with a little clip of the Twangtown Paramours, and there's a flyer that uh, I'm sure will be posted on, it is on Facebook and probably on this channel somehow. And uh, so we're starting off with the Twangtown Paramours on uh, October 6th, and then the other one we have booked for this year is a more local group uh, at a, a, called the Squeeze Box Stompers, which is a New Orleans uh, Zydeco band. Uh, you feel like you're walking through the French Quarter in New Orleans when you listen to them. They're, they're fabulous. Cool. Uh, so that's what we've got going. Um, this is made possible in part by uh, sponsorships that we're actively uh, soliciting right now. We have commitments so far from uh, the Reading Cooperative Bank, the Savings Bank, and the Winter Hill Bank, and we've got some others sort of in the fire that we're hoping that will will join us. Uh, so, uh, you know, thanks to the sponsors, you know, thanks to the friends. Uh, we we really want this to do well. We want this to succeed, and uh, hopefully, people who are watching this will um, and will be hearing about it in in, in other media. Will, will join us on the 6th and on, on 6th of October and on the 3rd of November. And um, again, 
The idea is to help raise money. This, there's no tickets for this, as uh, I may have mentioned. This is through, suggested it's, donation. This is a suggested donation of $15 uh, that will be shared between the performer and the friends of the library. Uh, it is a suggested donation. We want people to come. If it's a little too much and you can do less or you can't do anything, we still want you to, you to come. And you can do and, more. And, and you can Maybe do more, want. absolutely. Actually, we're not, 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 not going to stop you. Money. That's yeah. right. Uh, so, but again, uh, the idea is between the uh, suggested donations, and there'll be some good refreshments, and we'll sell those. Uh, we will again raise money for uh, the many programs that the friends uh, are involved in and bring to the community. And, and Pat can certainly talk more about that than I can. Thanks for having us, Bill. Oh, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Um, as Art said, you know, we did start with the coffee house, and it took off in a slow pace, but now we're really kicking. Um, yeah, you guys are packing it in. I'm telling you, and, really and the talent is, is tremendous. Very varied and age-wise as well. Uh, the friends appreciate everything Art does. Uh, he's a visionary, in my opinion, because to do this kind <laughs> yeah. of work, you, yeah. you don't get Im immediate gratification. It's That's something true. you have to just keep, you know, yeah trying keep to keep it out. going. Yeah. So we thank Art because the, the friends are getting donations every time he has a coffee house. And as a group, the friends are a bunch of volunteers, community, men, women. Um, and we try to augment what the library budget doesn't allow. And people don't realize that a lot of the programs and, and um, events that are happening at the library are not funded by the town. They just can't. Yeah. So Friends has a real uh, serious responsibility to try to bring in extra money. Uh, we do a lot with membership, which uh, is ongoing. It's a yearly membership, so every year it has to be renewed. Um, memberships are $10 for seniors, 15 for an individual, and $25 for a family. And that's just for the year? Just for one year. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's renewable every year. And what is that, uh, what comes with that member? Are you just doing it to pretty much to donate to the... Exactly. Okay, Your yeah. money goes to help us do what we do for the library. Hmm. Um, it, uh, it's a big mainstay of what we do. Cool. But we also have fundraising, which Art is part of. Uh, we have a book sale, which community probably knows. Unfortunately, in May, our book vendor went out of business at the last minute. And uh, I think it was like on a Monday, and our oh, sale yeah. was on a Wednesday. Because we, we usually get word of it, because we usually go down there like pack rats yes. to check it out. And yeah. you guys are very kind to let us know. Right. And I think, we, yeah, we got that. It was like a big hullabaloo. Oh, yeah. It was like, yeah. We the, get a call on Monday that the, the company went out of business, oh, and wow. the sale was that Wednesday. It was just God. that sudden. I'll, I'll yeah. never forget that. I'll tell it you was that. Like, yeah, no, it was crazy. <clears throat> knocked us out completely. Mm. Uh, we didn't know which way to go. So... How many months ago that was? May, I think oh, it was wow. beginning was it, of May. Was it May. Yeah, we had Dude, bins so in, in the uh, parking lot from from the company. Yeah. Um, long story short, uh, we really met and did a lot of research as to which direction we wanted to go. Did we want to do bins again? Did we want to, you know, get somebody in to do that for us, or did we want to blaze another trail? Yeah, sure. And I have to say, um, the friends is blazing are blazing a trail because cool. we're now um, going to be holding our own book sale in November, beginning in November, and we're going to be asking for donations of books, CDs, DVDs from the community, nice. and we'll base our sale on the community books and donations. So we're not dealing with any vendors. Yeah. Uh, we're really going rogue yeah. Yeah. No, really. <laughs> and, yeah. and making it a community, truly a community effort. So you'll be seeing publicity about that as well. But I think our donation times are starting the beginning of November. So I ask the community, save your books, CDs, DVDs for that time. You'll see the collection dates. It will be at the library. and. Um, we're kind of excited about it, you know, when you, you do something that's yeah. a little out of the box, you don't know what the outcome, as, as we did with the coffee house. Absolutely yeah. right. You don't know what the outcome is, but you're willing to take the risk to do something different. No, and people so we're will, excited. Yeah, no, and people will respond in kind with something like, oh, well, like this is something we can really And they've been waiting to right know there, where yeah. they can donate that would really affect well, yeah. the community. 
They don't want to just give their books away. Yeah, yeah. So what we do with our funds is mostly a lot of the children's programs, like our summer reading program, uh, the Saturdays with Dara. Um, we have a, a um, what is it, a media center oh, where yeah, you yeah. can charge your, your different devices. Oh, That's been yeah, yeah. provided by the library, to the library, cool. by the friends. Uh, so there are a lot of programs that we do. No charge ever. Yep. Library free never wi charges. Yeah. Yeah, right, free Wi-Fi. Uh, so these are some of the things that the friends do. And we do really look forward to whatever donations can be given. If you can give time, that's great. But yeah. we're all so busy that yeah. we're just yeah. grateful that people can contribute, whether it's through coming to the coffee house, through a donation, whatever. But we're excited looking ahead to this year because there's new things on the horizon. Oh, that's awesome. Good and stuff. Is there a website people can go to become yes, a it, member? Yes, um, you can go onto the library web website, actually, flintmemoriallibrary.org. Mm -hmm. Across the top banner is Friends. Just click Friends, and you'll get to our part of the web page. Cool, and I'm sure we'll have a link right there down below to show you where you can go. Thank you. So, Appreciate no, that. No, it's great. And actually, for um, performing arts Actually, for, well, for the, what we're going to have is I... Uh, we have a, uh, a Facebook, whatever it is. A new Facebook page? Or whatever, it, it, yeah. it, the Facebook page is there. I, I can give you the, you know, is, yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I will give it to you, yeah. and you can put it somewhere. I'll and there's also, below, and yeah. also I, I uh, created a, an email address. I think it's just uh, nrcoffeehouse at gmail.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just Will that because be the same? It, it, that that that'll be that's for the coffee house for the yeah. performing artist series. I just someone said, said I should probably get my email off there. <laughs> so my phone number's there. That's fine. Yeah. I think it's there someplace. But um, if you if you go to Facebook and just go to uh, North Reading uh, or NR Coffee House or North there Reading is, Coffee yeah. House, I think it's Facebook.com it. uh, NR or North Reading Community Coffee yeah. House. Yeah, it, you'll you'll get there and. Um, you know, I, I'm not a Facebook expert, but I, I do try to, you know, keep yeah. keep information out there. But you do check your email. I do check my yeah. email, and that's for He's sure. Very, actually, your email etiquette is pretty great. I, 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 I do I do check it, I, yeah. I, and I'm always out looking for, for the performers and for the coffee house performers for the performing artist series. Uh, it, it's just what, and I enjoy it. It's not yeah. even it's not even work. I just I just enjoy it. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so. We, you know, we want this to be a success for, you know, a, a bunch of reasons, and they're all... Well, you're able to be, you'll be able to do future ones, I we'll be able to We'll be things. able to do future ones. Uh, you know, we had, we had uh, I think it was in April of 2016, or maybe it was 17, I guess it was, in order to promote the coffee house, we, we had sort of a, a one-off... Uh, we brought in a, a local uh, folk singer, Bill Stain, very well known in this yeah, area. Cool. And uh, Bill brought in about about 80 people, and it was it, it it did exactly what we wanted. It promoted the coffee house. We have those 80 people now on the mailing list, in yeah. addition to uh, you know other people that are on the mailing list. And uh, we made money, uh, you know, we uh, again through uh, the sale of refreshments and. Uh, Bill was happy, and uh, uh, that's sort of the kind of thing that will be, you know, look, that kind of entertainment we'll be looking to do as we go forward. But we, we want this to be a success to give us the impetus to do, to do more of this in 2019. No, so. yeah, and that, that's awesome. And I'm sure you'll get those people there. You already have a firm base in yeah. the community coffee house. We have, so. um, we have uh, about a little over 100 performers on the distribution list for wow. the performers. Wow. We have probably about the same for uh, sort of attendees. And then usually the artist has their own uh, you know, um, website and email list, and, and they, they promote it. For example, the Squeezebox Stompers, who are going to be there in November, they have about four or 500 people. Uh, on their uh, on their list, and th you know, through ev through everybody reaching out through different media, there's going to be uh, Maureen Doherty. I'm pretty sure that so you'd be doing a story oh, about Maureen's this. Maureen's great, yeah. yeah for she's the transcript, fabulous. yeah. For the transcript, uh, you know, people will talk about it on Facebook. I'll I'll probably be uh, boring people with how many times I talk about it at the coffee house, yeah. but we want it to be successful. Successful. We want you to come to this. Performing artist series and certainly to the coffee house, uh, and uh, if you haven't been there, see what you're missing. And if you have been there, 
continue to get the enjoyment you've been getting from it. And it's the third uh, Saturday of the month. In so. general, yes. Yeah. Uh, for this, changing for well, September? no, no, it's not. No, no, it's it's just a question of. Uh, I I work with Dan Trombley on the scheduling, oh. and the, fortunately, all the third Saturdays for this year were available. Yeah. And so for 2018, it's been the third. So oh, to the so third but, Saturday. Okay, so. And I'll talk to him about next year. Now, December, this is getting a little bit off topic, no, but no, in December, no. the coffee house is, uh, is a little different. It's a holiday uh, oh, coffee holiday house. Thing. And it, we have, you know, families come. We sit, instead, we don't get so many performers, but we sit, whoever we have, we sit around in a big circle yeah. and sing uh, holiday songs. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I, I don't exactly know when that's going to be yet, but we'll, we'll have a date out there yeah. soon. So, cool. That's yeah. great. Yeah, look forward to that. Yep. Now look forward to all the other programs that come out of mm -hmm. um, uh, the Friends. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely here's the website again for uh, checking out stuff uh, at FlintMemorial uh, dot org. I believe FlintMemorial Library, Library dot org. Library .org. Uh, and, and on the top banner, top bar, uh, yeah. there's Friends. You click on that, and, and you'll be able to go right to that that site, and you'll see there's a page for joining and mm -hmm. what we're all about. Some of the other programs that we that we sponsor. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. You guys do great work. And uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys get for donations. For it's CDs, DVDs, and books. And books. And uh, children's any, books. Yeah, any adults, cool. fiction, nonfiction, whatever you have that's in good shape. Something yeah. you wouldn't mind getting yourself. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. And that's a fine yeah. way to put it. Because yeah, not just like exactly. some weird <laughs> mud drench. <laughs> uh, there's a bag of books I had in you know, the cellar. I think I have about 200 CDs that I'm going to be donating. Oh wow! I think that's about what I have that I, you know, that have all been put on iTunes, mm -hmm. and I don't yeah. need the physical CDs anymore. Well, as a uh, yard sale junkie, uh, this excites me. Good. Well, it, yeah. good. If you're into folk music, you can. I, be, you have a lot to choose from. More and more. Oddly enough, through Community Coffee House, I've gotten more and more into, because like uh, Pat had said, like you had said, uh, brilliant talent coming through. And like you said, you don't have to be a uh, virtual to play there. You do there. not, no. But Just love to sing, yeah. play. Yeah. Oh, we even had somebody who was reading poetry. Yep. Yes, no. Yeah. I mean, it, the singing it's just poet so is diverse. One of our, no, yep, this wasn't favorites. even singing. This was, oh, just, this was just a reading. poetry oh, read. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. It, was, it was wonderful. It was so different. I do have salty material that I cannot do there. <laughs> no, but I would throw you out. Well, it's family friendly, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. Kids, absolutely. Are, kids are welcome. Absolutely. Yeah. We, we've had, we've had, we've had, we've had performers. I think about as young as nine. We had yeah. a, a young a girl there about, as, about, I think she was about nine. Oh, wow. And she's been there. She was there a couple of times. The the pianist or no? Uh, she was. I I don't remember. I think she may have played the piano. Yeah. Then we have uh, my wife's uncle, who's 86, and he oh, comes yeah, and, did, yeah. and performs there. So it's really, really for all ages. Yeah, Spontaneous no. sing-alongs. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you, it's you know, kind of great. Stuff you haven't heard in a long time, and it's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I used to love that music. <laughs> it, it's, it really is something for everyone. So if you haven't yeah. been, definitely give it a shot. Come yeah. on out. I think you'll be highly surprised. Yeah, and there are a lot of people who promote themselves when they go there and they're like, oh, they're local um, performers mm -hmm. who just like, oh, catch me in Lowell, catch exactly. me uh, Absolutely. in other clubs around. You're like, oh, wow, you get to, yeah, you get to see a lot of great stuff and mm -hmm. it's fun. And even if you, this is your first time performing, get up there and perform. Forget about it. Just take it. Right. Use exactly. that energy because a lot of people, what they might lack in talent, they have the gusto and it's just that fun energy. They enjoy, yep. they enjoy yeah. performing. Yeah. Yes. You know? yes. And you can read that. You can feel that. Yeah. Absolutely. The other Absolutely. thing that's really important is a lot of the coffee houses, I think, charge admission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't. Nothing. Nothing. Yep. You can come and enjoy the whole night for nothing or you can come and get a couple of refreshments or just give a donation or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And that's different for coffee houses too, as, yeah. as Art would be able to tell yes, us. Yes, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, for yeah. most absolutely. open mics. Yeah, yeah mo I, I go to open mics and a lot of them uh, ask you to, even though you're performing, they ask you to, you know, pay. Yeah, give them. Uh, yeah. But, and I can I understand why. I mean, you know, no, nobody gets rich with this stuff, but right. uh, um, we don't, you know, we don't. And even, even the Performing Artist Series will be a suggested donation. Uh, we, we don't, you know, we, we want we want the performers. They are taking the financial responsibility, but we want we want them to, you know, do well enough so they feel you know that it was worth it for them yeah. and to come back at some point. No, that's important. And yeah. also, like I guess, uh, not only companies can get involved with uh, donating, but can individuals donate a to absolutely, the absolutely. I mean, we we've been we've been doing sponsorships, so there's oh, been companies, yep. but but if somebody wants to contact me and they want to. Uh, donate something. Uh, the friends are a 
It's a tax. It's a not for profit organization. Yeah, so it would be a tax deductible contribution. Cool. Right. So, yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. So, yeah, feel We're excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot to be excited about. Really? A lot to be excited about. Yeah, exactly. A lot to be excited about. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Uh, feel free to come back and promote anything else you're doing. Is there anything else you'd like to uh, throw out there? Or? I think we're good for now. Just good. remember the book sale. The book sale. Yes. Oh, yes. So remember it? Start saving your books, CDs, and DVDs. Beginning of November, we'll yes. be putting out a, a time to come to the activity room and donate oh, okay. all that. All right, good. No, okay. that's, good no, that's a good window. So yeah. people should know. Mm -hmm. uh, get ready Keep, for October. Yeah, don't give them November, away yet. Keep them, and yeah. no, beginning of November, we'll be taking them on, and it should be a lot of fun. The f next Performing Artist Series is Saturday, October 6th, and we hope to see you at both. Yeah. No. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, yeah. sounds great. Mm. Thank you for coming, and check out all those websites, and if you have any more questions about it, feel free to email them. You can call us at NORCAM at 978-664-0501. You can email me, Phil uh, Healy, Public Access Coordinator, at this email right here. We'll see if it pops up. If it doesn't, then I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you again for coming. And thank you very much. No worries. Thank and thanks, Phil. Keep, uh, keep an, an eye out for everything. <laughs>